Hello and welcome to another one. Today we teach you how you could play games on Android with a gamepad or with a keyboard and mouse even if it is not supported and also without requiring root access. For this tutorial, we are going to use the Octopus Key Mapper, available on the Google Play Store. Before we start, let's talk about the app. The Octopus app is a key mapper. Key mappers are used to emulate touch on a designated part of your screen using a physical button. Let's say a button on your gamepad or your keyboard. Key mappers usually ask for root access for this, which is why the Octopus app is quite unique as you can use it for a device that is not rooted. I am not exactly sure how it was able to bypass it, but the app creates a separate data file for games you are going to launch within it. It's really useful but this app asks for shitloads of permissions including read cell broadcast messages and read instant messages, and all those really sensitive information. I was hesitant to do this tutorial because of that, but since you guys are asking for it, just keep in mind that I warned you. Moving on, let's install the app and proceed to the tutorial. First is the gamepad setup. Of course, you're gonna need the phone with the Octopus app, and a gamepad. Both Bluetooth and wired gamepads will work. In this case, I'm using the Champ Wired gamepad which we have reviewed months ago. Link in the description below. Grab your phone and launch the app. The app scans the phone for games installed. Mobile Legends is already in the main menu which means that the app is already pre-mapped. If the game you would like to play was not preloaded, you can still add it but you would need to manually map the keys. So let's go back and plug the gamepad in. It was detected so let's go ahead and launch Mobile Legends. Here you could see that the buttons are already laid out. Again, the app creates a separate data file for the games you launch, so here it starts the game afresh. So if you have an existing account, you would have to rebind it. Moving on, let's test it and here movement works fine. To cast skills, you would just need to press the specified button or button combinations. This may slightly differ if you are going to use a different gamepad. You can also aim skills which is nice, but I have not found an efficient way of cancelling it so keep that in mind. So here's just a bit of gameplay. If you're unhappy about the layout of the control, you could tap the button on the left side of the screen and here you could make adjustments. You could even create a new touch point, set the button, and then drag it where you want to emulate the touch. So this is basically what you're gonna do if the game you would like to play is not pre-mapped. 
Now I'll show you the keyboard and mouse setup. For this you'll need the phone, again with the Octopus app, a keyboard, a mouse, and a USB hub. You won't need this if both your keyboard and mouse is Bluetooth capable. So first grab your USB hub. Plug your keyboard and mouse in. Then grab your phone and plug your USB hub in. Note that I'm using an OTG hub. You will need an OTG adapter otherwise. So for this tutorial, we will try it with PUBG. This is considered cheating but I'm doing this just for demonstration purposes, since you could use this not only for PUBG. The game is pre-mapped and as demonstrated before, if you are not happy about the layout, you could make adjustments and everything is fully customizable. So that's about it for this tutorial. Again, this is the Octopus Key Mapper available at the Play Store. Link in the description below. Very useful tool, only problem is that it asks for an excessive amount of permission. There are updates from time to time, so explore new features for yourself. Just ask questions and I'll try to help you out. Drop by our channel and check out our other videos. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. You can also follow us on Facebook for the latest updates. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.